How would you like to power your Steam Deck with an RTX 4080, taking your frames per second bouncing around in Dark Tide from around 30 to 40, as you can see here, even on the lowest settings, bouncing to the 20s, to full ultra settings with ray tracing at its max, pushing over 160 frames per second. Well, it's certainly possible thanks to GeForce Now's new Ultimate tier. I was lucky enough to get my hands on early access to the RTX 4080 and you can see just how good this looks with the GeForce Now version on the right hand side here and the local Steam Deck version on the left. So the DLSS 3 makes such a difference with the frame generation on the GeForce Now platform. So even running this through the browser at 1080p looks absolutely gorgeous. So once again, Looking at the local Dark Tide gameplay here, on the lowest settings we're still getting bounces around between the 30 and 40 frames per second. But with all of that going on with the 4080 tier, we can see just how good this looks. Now the bonus with GeForce Now is you can run that straight away on the PC as well, up to 4K 120fps. But I only have a 1440p monitor, so here is some 120fps 1440 RTX 4080 footage. That's a mouthful. So this new Ultimate tier is the one that took over from the RTX 3080 tier. And you can pick this up for £18 a month, or you can go up to the 6 monthly and bring that price down to effectively £15 a month. But you need to pay £90 up front. Of course, you can still use GeForce Now for free. But you limited to a one hour session and if you don't want the full power of the 4080 and get something between a 1080 and the 3060 you can go with the priority tier at the cheaper rate so as you can see on geforce now running on steam deck it also makes a huge difference to the power wattage because the cpu and gpu are not doing much work apart from streaming the commands no input delay at all on this as well because the power of the 4080 is doing all of the work, including the encoding on the stream. Now the Division 2 also released on Steam Deck recently and we had a lot of queries about obviously Ubisoft Connect versions and how this runs on Steam Deck. So even looking on our recommended settings, we do get the dips for the shader cache between 30 and 40 frames per second. But looking on medium does look great on Steam Deck at 40 frames per second but again thanks to the power of the 4080 if we run this through the browser we also have the option to run the ubisoft connect version epic games version or the steam version so you don't have to go and buy that game again you can just pick up that version full ultra settings we're getting a solid 120 frames per second plus so again you get that perfectly stable 60 frames per second deck side no stuttering, no shader cache, no issues. And you can see here with the browser, we're pulling less than 10 watts of usage. So we're gonna get a good three to four hours battery life out of this. And it looks absolutely fantastic. So GeForce Now's new ultimate tier is rolling out now. So check out the link in the description below for where all of these servers are rolling out. And if you're in vicinity and sign up to the ultimate tier, you're gonna be able to get one of those 4080s. Let us know in the comments below if this is something that you are going to be playing on your Steam Deck. It certainly is a huge game changer, especially as there is a lot of GeForce Now games that are not supported on Steam Deck, so you can play without having to install and fiddle with Windows. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.